Welcome again, dear friends of Africa in Motion. We are continuing with our topic, HIV, part 3. We have seen that these organs are the drivers of HIV. We saw it in the previous presentations. We are continuing now with this question that we need to answer today. How do you know that one has HIV? How is it diagnosed? The diagnosis of HIV is based on clinical examination. When you do clinical examination, you will find four stages. The stage one of HIV may be asymptomatic or generalized lymphadenopathy. If a patient is uh, infected, any person infected, the same day the person is infected is not the same day sign and symptoms will start appearing. So a person might be uh, asymptomatic without any sign, without anything showing that there is uh, HIV, but can still transmit the infection. So that is stage one. Or might have what we call generalized lymphadenopathy. The lymph nodes, they, they are the, the nodes that we know, the glands that we know, but they will start now swelling all over the body. Stage two. On stage two, there will be loss of weight, but it will be less than 10%. For example, a person having 70 kilograms will lose uh, less than 7 kilograms. Okay? But this weight loss is categorized um, uh, in the a, a category of unexplained weight loss a person losing weight without a reason or the patient might have what we call prudible the lesions all, all over the body without a reason is they just appearing fungal nail infection the, the nails get infected with the fungal the fungus that come to destroy the nails you can see that or might have herpes zoster the one we know uh, as shingles or the patient might have recurrent upper respiratory tract infections they keep on coming again and again despite treatment stage three the patient will lose weight which is more than 10 percent we had an example of 70 kilogram and now the patient will lose more than seven kilogram unexplained or chronic diarrhea just diarrhea that is continuously you treat but it continues fever oral candidiasis or tb and severe bacteria infection hmm? the patient might start having abscesses in stage four the one we call aids uh, uh, defining illness hiv wasting syndrome the patient will lose weight become cachectic very 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 slender pcp the one you call pgp pneumocystis gyrovis pneumonia toxoplasmosis candida eh, esophagitis extra pulmonary tb the tb we know that it can affect lungs but when the immune system is low when the soldiers have gone deep deep down they are almost depleting in the system then TB can affect other parts of the body. All of the parts of the body can be affected, though we know the, the primary, the main, main organ affected by TB is uh, uh, lungs. Patient might, might have what you call CMV retinitis. Retina get infected with uh, uh, virus is called CMV, cytomegalovirus. Kaposi sarcoma, onani Hodgkin lymphomas, the patient will be a bedridden patient. Most of times, more than 50%, they will be bedridden. They cannot uh, move by themselves. This is stage four, which is a, a advanced stage. Now, are the complications that keep on coming are uh, that you now, when a patient comes and present those conditions, Definitely, you have to think of HIV. You have to think of HIV 
and uh, it can affect the, the, the brain as we saw previously cryptococcal meningitis this is stage 4 oral candidiasis or esophageal candidiasis eye problem mm? damages to the eye to the retina the tumors the ear infections very severe infections which are very hard to treat the carpose sarcoma in the mouth the lungs now the tb a severe form of tb will start appearing and it can spread to other parts of the body not only lungs the skin the skin when you see these regions you suspect hiv you see the genitals different types of uh, uh, infections whether from a virus whether from uh, 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 bacteria, or whether from fungal infections they will affect male and female organs as well however with the signs you never confirm hiv unless you do blood test now when you see the cd4 cd4 count here cd4 soldiers of the body the one we know protect the body from um zero from zero going upward to one thousand we are from zero to one thousand and we check the time from the day of infection going uh, onwards if a person is infected with uh, uh, hiv the, the soldiers of the body will start declining, going down. Now, depending on how much the soldiers are lost, particular or certain infections will appear, depending on how far the decrease has gone. Like here, when the, 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 the soldiers start decreasing, some bacteria like uh, group B streptococci might start causing infection or cause what we call polymyositis. These muscles of the body start getting infected or, uh, or abscesses in the muscle of the body. Or as they decrease more and more, it can cause what we call chronic HIV meningitis. If it goes down more and more, so TB might appear again syphilis hmm? varicella zoster dementia dementia related to hiv as it goes down when it reaches 200 the stage is very advanced even the small bacteria you which used to be weak that the body was fighting without problem they will start causing serious conditions like toxoplasmosis cryptococcosis all stomegalovirus all will start appearing will start to cause uh, causing diseases serious complication to the whole system of the body and uh, the, 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 the soldiers are decreasing in numbers as the time goes by if you see again the way the the, 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 the relationship between antibodies and the HIV do, 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 during the time of infection when hiv comes in immediately they will hit they go up after just in a few months after infection because the body was not prepared the cd4 will, will fall down the soldiers will decline going down but the body now because it becomes aware it start now fabricating more more antibodies it start recruiting new soldiers the soldiers are recruited as they are recruited, they increase in the number, they start fighting. As they go up, then the virus will go down, start decreasing. The virus now will go down, start uh, uh, learning new strategies on how to attack better. As the virus is now uh, multiplying, they go up. As they continue to go up in the years without a treatment, the virus will be high, what we call high viral load. The viral load is high then the soldiers of the body are decreasing are decreasing till they can even reach zero so this is how hiv progresses in relation to the protection of the body 
the CD4 or soldiers of the body. This is the same uh, um, image which is showing clearly the relationship between the concentration of antibodies which might remain uh, strong if there is a good management in place but if there is no proper management then they will fall down they will fall down the concentration of T cells the soldiers of the body the generals of the body they are being destroyed while the viruses the enemies are increasing in number they go high as they are high the soldiers are too low we confirm HIV with blood test there is no one who can confirm HIV by looking with eyes. Why? Because there are many conditions that can cause the lowering of immune system. So the best way is to confirm with a blood test. You can do rapid blood test where you prick on the finger, then you put on a slide, you mix with the reactive, then you check if there are antibodies. Are the antibodies, the soldiers, are they present? Normally they will not be appearing if there is no HIV infection. You can do serological tests where you take enough blood and then they, they check from the serum the presence of antibodies. The other way you can do what we call PCR, polymerase chain reaction, and examine a, a, a test that helps to know really and see exactly the HIV particles in the blood. Thank you so much once again. We will continue together on our health education, health promotion. Always, please give, give us your ideas and your comments so that we can build more uh, other topics to come. Thank you very much.